Good morning. Uh, welcome to Warrior 613 Monday morning video. I'm Jason. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, for watching this today. Um, I wanted to briefly just talk today. A uh, word came up in my mind. Um, as somebody was talking to me, I'd gone to doctor's appointments at Duke, um, and it was the word betrayal. Um, and so they asked me if I felt like my body had betrayed me. And I said, yes, um, 100%. My body has betrayed me, uh, or betrayed me. And that's um, one of those things that uh, they said, well, I'm sorry you've had to deal with that. Um, but our body is gonna betray us. Um, there's not a single person that will not experience a betrayal by their body um, and one of the things that I've gotten more than now and why I have such a peace and when we were talking about that was my Lord Jesus Christ has not betrayed me um, he keeps his promises and he never promised us that we wouldn't go through struggles he never promised us that we wouldn't see difficulty um, or that we wouldn't experience pain. As a matter of fact, he, he told us that we are going to experience pain. We are going to experience issues. Um, and that's because the introduction of sin into the world. Um, so, I have a lot of people that will ask, was I mad at God for my body not acting like it's supposed to? Um, there's frustrations at times, but I, I really don't think I've ever been mad at God with that. I didn't realize why I wasn't mad. Um, I was mad in general. Um, when, it, when I first started having issues with it, um, but I don't recall a time where I ever just was mad at God. I do remember a time when I was running and was having issues with my left leg, where I looked up and you know in the sky and I was doing triathlons at the time. And I just said, God, if you're not going to let me run, don't even let me walk. Um, and I think that's the only time I, he gave me exactly what I what I was asking for um, and so so yes my body has betrayed me um, and but my Lord hasn't um, I'm more at peace with everything um, than I ever have been and so I'll take that betrayal by my body in exchange for the grace, the truth, the mercy, uh, and eventual eternal life that my that my Lord's going to give me um, through the personal relationship that I have with Him, that's a great trade-off. Um, that's one that I don't even have to think about. Um, and so, you know, I experience more um, a as I go through. And, um, my body doesn't do what I ask it to do, or it does stuff that I don't ask it to do, or just, I mean, it's just. Um, it's one of those that I see more now how God is being faithful to me, how he is taking care of me, um, how he is, um, you know, providing for me. Um, you know, things that, that just don't, just don't make sense. Um, you know, it, it's it's one of those things that um, it's a good trade-off. Um, it's there for everybody. Your body is going to betray you. Um, it's not going to do what you want to do. It may right now, but there's going to be a point where it, it starts to decline. Um, you know, hopefully not as early as mine did, um, but it's going to happen at some point in your life. Um, and that's why you see a lot of people that have deathbed conversions or why they come later in life because they realize that they're not indestructible. Um, they realize that there is a finite amount of time they're going to have. Um, and so they're looking for their next hope. Um, their hope was in themselves uh, when they couldn't see it. I, I remember being younger and you're 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, you think nothing's ever going to happen to you. Um, and so if you're looking for hope, if you're looking for something that won't betray you, um, Jesus Christ came here for a relationship with you. Um, he came here to give you hope. 
Um, he came back and God sent his son to die on the cross for you um, after we had disobeyed him. And so we introduced sin into the world. Uh, you know, our ancestors, Adam and Eve, introduced in the garden, uh, they, brought, um, they brought this upon us. Um, we brought this upon ourselves. Um, and God is going above and beyond to still uh, promise us um, an opportunity for a relationship with Him and eternal life. Um, so if you're looking for something that won't betray you, I know um, I speak to people uh, many times that say, I can't trust anyone. Um, that's true. Uh, if we're inherently sinful. Uh, we're inherently prideful. We're inherently uh, self-centered um, as humans. Um, but Jesus Christ will not let you down. Um, he will stay with you. Sometimes we don't sense Him, uh, but that's because we're the ones straying away from Him. Uh, so love you guys. Uh, thank you for being with me this morning. Um, and uh, have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.